guys. I've just got in from Poundland. My name's Fawn and this is my happy place. Uh, I do unboxings and I do hauls, but most of all, I come on here and I chat to my friends and it makes me happy. Um, if you like that kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. I had to go back to Poundland because I don't know if you remember this wall. I bought it for my mum to make some jumpers for the kids and I bought six balls and it turns out really we needed eight nine balls i forget how big the kids have got now um so i went back to get some more of this and i did i got the three balls because i don't know if you know it's a pound a ball but by two you get the third one free so i got those apparently it's a kind of arony type wool yes premium arony it is a really nice wool while I was there looking at the wools, because they don't have a huge selection and it comes and goes and the colours come and go, I saw this lovely colour. So I bought nine balls of this gorgeous turquoise. There's no way we're going to need nine. I, you know, thinking about it now, because this is more for Lara's size, six would have been enough of that. But having been burnt and having to go back and thinking, oh Lord, what if they don't have it? I've got a bit of a compulsion now. And as I say, when you're buying three balls but only paying for two it's such good value and i also picked it up in this color for levi probably i think it's milo that she's done the yellow one in so it'll be levi will have this sort of dark red and again she's knitting a nice big chunky jumper because it is a form of aaron um you know with nice cable knit on it uh so i was happy to get that and i got nine balls of that i also noticed this this is a frozen umbrella. I'm not going to open it up indoors, but it's frozen. As you know, my Levi is absolutely frozen mad. I bought them umbrellas last year, um, and it was before we realised quite how obsessed he was with frozen. And I bought um, Milo one that has sort of a dinosaur. When you, you put it up, it's got a dinosaur. And I bought Levi uh, a Bing Bunny one, but he won't carry the Bing Bunny one and occasionally they're really handy to have. So this was two pounds and I thought it was well worth it because it is, you know, proper genuine frozen. I picked them up a new washcloth. <laughs> I was in there giving them a bath the other day and um, yeah, I could have done with a new washcloth. The kids have a habit of getting hold of the washcloths and rubbing soap and pouring stuff on them and they become almost slimy and you put them through the machine and they just don't come up again. So I saw that one for a pound and I thought it would make them laugh. Picked up a can of my deodorant. I really like this one, the aloe sensitive. I do sometimes get a little bit of razor burn. Um, and I love Dove. Dove I think would probably be my first choice. But when I've got a touch of razor burn, I have to say this aloe sensitive one is really, really good. And I like the fresh fragrance. Again, for the boys, I picked up two of these t-shirts. Can you see? It's Scooby-Doo. Look at him. <laughs> and the kids really like Scooby-Doo at the moment. They really think he's fun. And I like the color. I think this is a great color for little boys. Um, so I got them one each. And they, I'm just going to check that they were both the same price because sometimes the next size up is a little bit more. So that one was 350 and let's see, yeah, they were both 350 So I was happy with those. This time, Lala got something, or Lara. I saw this little set and I couldn't resist. Look, it's a little top, look at that, with the little pom-poms on it, pom-poms on the, on the bottom of it as well. And this sort of... I don't know, it's almost sort of ethnic, isn't it? This sort of braiding around the neck to go with, I mean, it's a set so that, and it also comes with these little chambray shorts that again have got the pom-poms on. How long the pom-poms will last, I don't know, especially on the shorts. But the little set, so you can see it together, which is so, so cute, only cost me seven pounds. So I thought that was really fun for summer. Again, for my Lala, because she doesn't get things very often says I. And they had this little book all about Piglet. She adores Piglet Winnie the Pooh. It's it's her thing. She sleeps with a Piglet. She has a Piglet that she carries everywhere under her arm. And she we have all the Winnie the Pooh books. Um, but this one is specifically about Piglets. And I just thought Mummy would enjoy reading that to her. And she would love the fact that these are the Piglet stories. I picked up some more mint matchmakers. It was only a quick trip. I was trying to be good. But they were a pound and they ended up in my trolley. And I also 
picked up these, which I have never seen before. They are Cherry Bakewell Chocolate Digestives. I mean, have you ever heard of that? I have never heard of it before. They were only a pound. I thought, I've got to try them. Cherry, I like Cherry Bakewells, but Cherry Bakewell Chocolate Digestives by McVitie's. They sound lovely. There's a good chance, though, that I'll think they're horrible. <laughs> I also picked up to go in the nature room, even though this isn't very nature inspired, but I just, I like this. I couldn't resist it. I had to buy it. It's a little picture frame with a sort of mirror back that says, love you always. Um, it's how I feel about them. You know, I'm going to put it some, because you know me, I like to sort of over decorate. Um, I could paint the frame. I don't know that I will. It is like a natural wood colour. I'm not sure yet. I've got to get that paper up and see which is going to happen either tomorrow or Monday. Um, yeah, and, and then see, I, you know, I'll have to take all the bits, gather all the bits together that I've got and then sort of try and make sense and figure out where things should go. But I really like Love You Always. And that was £2. I picked up two boring things. You're going to be like, oh. Uh, I picked up two Uncle Ben's spicy Mexican rice. I love this rice. <laughs> I really love this rice. And if I can't be bothered cooking, I'll put one, you know, maybe Nick's not home or something, or he's having something different. He likes things like um, liver and onions. And I can't bear liver. I can't, I can't do it. He also likes lamb and I can't do lamb. It's too rich, maybe. I'm not sure, but it turns my stomach. But I do cook it for him. Um... And then I will have something much, much simpler. And I'll quite often just microwave one of these and have a big dollop of guacamole on it. And that will do me. So they were a pound and I picked them up. The last couple of things that I bought in there were new. I'd not seen them before. These were a pound each. These are mirrors. So there's the pink sort of starburst one. There's a sort of a cream one with these bumps on. Oops. And then there's a grey one. They're a pound each, as I say. I thought they were really nice. I thought together, all three of them, and they're plastic, by the way. These are plastic. I don't know about the glass bit, whether that is glass or not. But I just thought if I can hold them in a way that makes sense, if I put them on the wall all together in a little sort of arrangement, I mean, that's three pounds for three really pretty, but unusual frame mirrors. Whether they'll stay those colours again, not sure. I may very well redecorate them, particularly the grey one. Um, I don't know that grey would work in there. The cream will, though, and possibly the pink might. But I'm just going to, again, it's something I'm going to play with. But I may um, jazz them up a bit and paint them different colours uh, and make them sort of more mine. So that was my Panland haul. It was really modest, mostly wool. But it was a really modest little haul. I'm not silly all the time. But I wanted to show you something else that came. The reason that I want to show you it, and it's sort of out of... Um, out of order maybe it's because there is a sale on i don't know if any of you know of a company called voyage maison yeah voyage maison they do some really nice home things but they're having a sale at the minute i don't know how many of you have got argus but i have an argus you know living in the country um but even if you don't you'll need oven gloves and things at the moment they are selling their um hob covers and the oven gloves for half price now i'd never ordered from them before so i was taking a bit of a chance but i really needed some new ones and i mean sophie allport does a lot of nice ones but they're very neutral they're very samey after a while and i wanted something with a bit of color you know me i love a bit of color so i ordered this one isn't that beautiful obviously i ordered them in pairs um i just think the colors on that are amazing and I got the double oven glove that matches. So I've got a pair of this one, which I believe was called Farmyard, but I could be wrong. <laughs> but I really, really like, so that was 30 pounds, which yeah, 30 pounds, 10 pounds a hob cover and the two and the oven gloves. And I just look at the colors on those. If I bring that in, I want you to be able to see it. So nice and the quality, cause that's the question would the quality be there the quality is there they are absolutely gorgeous and i also bought a set this one was called box no surprise why 
there he is in all his glory and in fact the other one of the double oven gloves is here so you can see inside contrasting fabric and then here are the hob covers aren't they gorgeous absolutely beautiful 10 pounds each as i say the quality i've got our genuine argo ones i've got sophie allport ones i've got some other ones i'm telling you these are amazing the quality is there they're the lovely sort of um almost like toweling but but stronger than toweling on the back and 10 pounds a piece and just so beautiful the colors are so different so i wanted to let you know about that before um before the sale finished because if you do have argus and you are looking for that kind of thing that's the place to go so it's called voyage maison <laughs> so i'm chuffed i wanted to pass that along so that's me that was just a real quickie i've got to do another one later um i've got some more things to show you i'm still on my quest for shorts <laughs> and i've picked up three pairs at Marks and Spencer's and one or two pairs I think at Matalan. So I'll probably combine it together and do it a, sh a shorts video. <laughs> I'm still looking for some shorts that will work because of course I'm an apple. So my widest bit is at my waist and then I go down, down, down to skinny legs. So if they're wide enough to fit around my waist, they tend to be huge everywhere else. If they fit my skinny legs and my almost non-existent bottom then they clutch around my middle so tight that I look like someone's tied a string around me so shorts are an absolute nightmare to find so I've got as I say at least four pairs possibly five pairs <laughs> that I'm going to be trying and getting your opinion on <laughs> because I love shorts I, I like getting my legs out they're so comfortable and practical but um yeah finding some that fit that's the challenge anyway it's raining here off and on i've been wet several times that's why i'm looking quite so scabby and of course i've had the mask on so i look a bit oh it's really busy outside um but i hope wherever you are you're fine and you're happy and you're well and i'll see you really really soon bye guys